Hey, Chris. Hey, Dib. Uh, Crystal Walker here again. Uh, as you can tell, I just got up. It's like 9 o'clock where I am, so it's summertime, so I got up then. And um, I'm here to do sort of a top five list of, uh, it's just my opinion, of my favorite horror movies. So I want to give a shout out to Paul Reviews. He uh, inspired me for this. So thanks very much, man. If I seem a bit tired, that's probably why. Um, I'll try to be as uh, energetic as I possibly can. But um, I wanted to start out with some uh, honorable honorable mentions. And yes, this is just my list. So it will be my opinion. And these are Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, and Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Uh, I really do enjoy both of these movies. Grew up with them, uh, especially number 4. Um, these are both two great horror movies. Even if they don't make a whole lot of sense sometimes, they both have fantastic atmosphere. A lot of them have some pretty decent acting in them. It's a good music. That might have been my cat. I'm sorry about that. Um, some decent acting. And among other things, uh, it's a great, uh, great dull feature. Definitely check these two out. Next two are... Two very different movies, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and then these are just honorable mentions. Um, you know, great horror movie, classic. It's actually very scary, like if you want a scary movie, genuinely scary, pick this up. Um, I might have to let my cat out, but I'm not sure, I'm sorry about this. Um, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre, great horror movie directed by Toby Hooper. Um, now so I'm going to give an honorable mention to its wonderful sequel, which I actually love this movie. It's better than the first one for me. Um, it's not even really a horror movie. It's more or less a, uh, black comedy or dark comedy. Um, it's, it's so funny. If you want a hilarious movie, check this movie out. I was like, no, you gotta watch it with a serious face first. And then go back and rewatch it again, and you'll be like in tears. It's it's one of the. I hate it too that how they promote the CD and if it's like a serious movie, and it's totally not. Um, it's 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 a fun ride or a fun movie. Check it out. I'm gonna take a break here for a minute. Get a glass of water. Sorry about that. Um, had a good glass of water. Um, into my top five list. Uh, this is just my opinion. Um, by the way, give me your list. Um, uh, in the comment section. Tell me what you think of these movies if you've seen them. Um, if not, then, um, well, like the video. Uh, my first one I want to do is George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Um, yeah, that's right. I chose this over Dawn of the Dead because I personally love this movie. Uh, I think it is just a wonderful horror movie. The atmosphere is just, it's a very dark film compared to Dawn of the Dead. Um, uh, I think just the actors are fantastic. The gore. The gore. It's some of the greatest gore I think you ever put to cinema. It's in this movie. I and mean, it's just, just all out of blood and guts. Um, this movie stars, uh, Lori, is this how you pronounce her name? Lori Cardell, um, as well as Terry Alexander, and, uh, Richard Liberty, as well as, um, Joe Pilato as the bad guy. And Joe Pilato is a great bad guy, cusses a lot, yet it's sometimes he is unintentionally hilarious, just cracks me up. So freaking funny. Um, anyway, this is the old, um, Anchor Bay, uh, Divimax release. Um, there's a little smudge on there. Sorry about that. But, um, this is a great, really good release. A really good Div Divimax release as well. You can pick it up, but definitely find it. Um, it's a great film. Scream Factory did actually release a collector's edition. So, go out and pick that up. Yeah, I do enjoy this release. Still. Got some very cool artwork and stuff. Day of the Dead. Horror movie classic. Great sequel. 
Number four is John Carpenter's classic, Fog. Yes, this is the old MGM Special Edition. And I'm going to hold on to it, because I personally prefer this. Um, it's, a, it's a great film. It's got a lot of just very great atmosphere. Um, it's about this town who um, has like this... This old story where the ship crashed up against this rock because they saw a bonfire. When it turns out the bonfire was a fake and they they lit the fire just to make the ship crash. The ship crashes, killing everyone on board. However, the 100th anniversary of the town of Antonio, uh, Antonio Bay. And um, it's the 100th anniversary. And um, the spirits of the dead um, pirates come back to life. And, um, wreak havoc on the town. Wait a second. I'm sorry about this. God. Oh, shit. Look, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I had to let him out. It's causing a big noise. Anyway, um, so they come back and they wreak havoc on the town. And, um... Just a, uh, it's, it's a great atmosphere, core home. You want a movie of the atmosphere, go find this movie. Trust me. It, it's, it's a great horror movie. Um, you got, uh, some great, uh, pretty good cast in here. You got Adrian Barbo, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, John Hausman, Janet Lee, Nancy Loomis, who played Annie in Halloween, as well as, um, Hal Holbrook as the priest, who is... He actually has some fantastic uh, monologue where he's reading out of his granddad's book. Yeah, it's a great scene. Um, it also has some of, I think, John Carpenter's best music ever in this movie. Um, it's just an atmospheric horror classic that deserves to be seen by everyone. Great film. Number three, I'm not going to talk much about this one. Or the one after that, actually. Jaws. It's freaking Jaws. You know? What What do I need to say about it? it? It's a masterpiece. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, Roy Scheider, Richard Dreyfuss, Robert Shaw. Which, Robert Shaw, I recently rewatched it with my dad again, and he should have won a freaking Oscar for it. For his performance. Definitely Robert Shaw deserved it. Um, you know, it's just... It, it's a great film. It's a masterpiece. Um, directed by Steven Spielberg. Um, just a great film. That One of the few films, some of the few horror movies, that if you were to show it to, I think, a mainstream audience, it could still hold up. Like, if you just put it back in theater for like a week, let a whole bunch of people go see it, I could bet you it would still hold up. It's just, it's a masterpiece. It'll live on forever. It's freaking Jaws. Uh, um, it's, it's a great film. What more do I need to say? Go out and see it. If you haven't already. As a matter of fact, go out and buy it. Um, it's, it's a freaking masterpiece. Great film. It's Jaws. Come on. Number two is one of my favorite, personal favorite movies of all time. It's in my top ten list. I love this movie to death. Might even argue it was one of the first real horror movies I ever saw. I have a history with this one. I have a history with all of them, but with this one especially. Um, I watched Frankenstein when I was six, when my dad got scared of that. Anyway, when I was eight, I made the stupid decision to watch this, and it became one of my favorite movies of all time. Halloween. But this movie scared shit out of me when I was a kid. I'm not going to lie to you. But, I mean, this is a... Great movie. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis. Donald Pleasance in the in the performance of his career, by the way. Um, Nancy Loomis. PJ Souls. Charles Cyphers. Um, of course, it was produced by uh, Tommy Lee Wallace. I'm not going to go over the plot of this one either. You all know it. You know. Um, it's just, it's a freaking masterpiece. It's... It's just a great fucking movie. Um, 
directed by John Carpenter. Um, music by John Carpenter was one of the most, I think it's personally, it's, it's one of the most iconic and one of the greatest soundtracks that were made. For me, this soundtrack is up there with Eno Morricone on The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. That's how good it is, in my opinion. Um, I mean, this is just a great film. There's the movie, there's the disc, and that. Just, it's a masterpiece. It's a great movie. It, it's, if you haven't seen this movie, go out and buy it. Just do it. Stop watching the video. Go out and get this movie. Um, it's just, it's a great film. It deserves to be seen by everyone. Go out, rewatch it. Just, it's a freaking masterpiece. One of my favorite movies of all time. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, um, number one, if you guys see my top seven favorite movies, you guys know what this is. The Thing. I might even do a special two-part review, both for Halloween and this, because they're damn well deserving of it. Um, this is just a masterpiece of horror cinema. Starring Kurt Russell, directed by John Carpenter. Um, Keith David co-stars in this. Wilford Diabetes Brimley. Um, who else is in this? T.K. Carter plays a guy on the roller skates. He was in Southern Comfort as well. Um, just the atmosphere, the gore, the actors, the characters. It's all done so fucking well. It's a great film. It's a masterpiece. One of the best movies I've ever made. Check out this movie. It's just so good. It still holds up today. It's almost mind-blowing how this still holds up today. But, um, the gore, the atmosphere especially, out in the snow, the main theme by Eno Morricone, doom, 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 doom. That theme is just so freaking awesome. One of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. I love this movie to death. This video is actually going to be quite longer than an average. So, um, definitely, um, just a masterpiece of cinema. One of the best movies ever. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for watching. I'm Christopher Walker. I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Maybe even later today. I don't know. I might do a quick review for something later today. But a like, comment. Uh, just tell me what you thought of my honorable mentions on my list. What are your top five favorites? Let me know. I will see you guys.